All right, y'all, we're uh, making a little progress here. We got the, uh, the fender cover part of the surface uh, glued on. Just just uh, uh, butt glue, butt, like a butt weld, you know what I mean? Uh, just put the glue down next to the line and then hold it. And then move it out of the way. A little more glue, a little more glue, a little more glue. And it doesn't matter if it's hanging out here because uh, we, we're going to need a, a fillet here anyway. Um, it's going to get covered in tape. And that won't be a class A surface, right? It's going to be the inside of the fender like this one. So the rough side is going to be on the outside. We'll take a, a, a 36 uh, grit uh, um, on, a, on a DA or something and, and just rough sand it down. That's all we did with this one here was just to knock the high spots down. And then we put a black rust oleum on it, you know. It's not smooth, smooth. It's not a, it's not a, a, a class A surface. We didn't spend a lot of time dealing with it and, and we may not this time either because we're kind of in a time crunch right so um we are going to try to to get two parts off of this thing so we're going to try not to destroy it uh, what does that mean that means we have to build it a little more stout than uh than we would knowing that like with the side pot deal uh we know if we destroy them it doesn't matter we got a part and that's all you know that's all we wanted to do i outlined the uh the front face that's going to go on right um of the right down inside of here right this is going to fit up on here and we're going to glue that glued on but the reason i did that is to know where to put what we call the stringers or the egg crate um we're going to cut more pieces of this this is the same th size as the uh that that surface there right and then we'll put them uh, we'll put you know 90s here and then out 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 we're not going to run them all the way out we're just going to run them out the Sorry about that. They're out the uh, the width of the the face of this thing, right? So there would be a, a not exactly an egg crate, but a, a, a stru substructure to it. Um, when these things are all glued together, I mean, if you did these uh, probably every every inch and a half or so, every inch inch and a half, you could literally a 200 pound guy could easily stand on this thing and not hurt it. Um, this cardboard is really really uh, good and strong stuff when it's put together right. So. Um, you don't need to build it up in, in layers, you know, you could do it that way too. It would take you forever in a day and the thing would weigh a ton and it would start to distort as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And the reason we leave this big long base here is you can see it's already, right when you start getting the hot glue on here, it's already moving a little bit. We'll, we'll put one big piece through here as best we can to hold it straight. But it doesn't really matter. It's fiberglass, right? When we bolt this thing or screw this thing down to the side of the trailer, it'll pull itself in. Um, it's not going to be so thick and strong that it won't move. So uh, there you go. Uh, one, one, one panel on. We'll put the little stringer deals in. And then as you saw this thing here bend the way it did, right? That's exactly how we're going to glue it down. I know what you're thinking. How are you going to put hot glue on 30 of these pieces and get it stuck all at the same time? Won't it cool off? Yeah, it will. Uh, we'll do four or five, just like we did with this here. We'll go a little bit. And because the corrugations are this way, it works out in our favor. Doesn't matter if there's little bumps and lines in it. We're going to cover it with masking tape. It's going to be on the inside of the fender, remember? So it really doesn't matter. We got big boogers of glue out here. You're not going to see it. It's going to be on the back side. So piece of cake. Anybody can do this stuff. This isn't rocket science. This is basic, basic, uh, uh, you know, mod model, model building class, man. There's nothing to it. If you can see it, in your mind then you can put it on paper if you can draw it and put it on paper you can make it you can do anything um there's really nothing to it folks so uh i'm gonna go ahead and continue I'll, after i get all these little uh stringers or, or whatever in uh we'll bring you back again real quick uh and then after we glue the top on once again we'll bring you back and uh this thing will be it's only been about an hour and we're already you know we're already making good progress so that's it we'll bring you some more in a little bit hang in there folks